in the heart of a small village nestled between rolling hills and lush meadows, lived a wise old man named Amon. Amon was known far and wide for his exceptional problem-solving abilities. Whenever the villagers faced a challenge or a dilemma, they would seek his advice, and he would offer them insightful solutions. But Amon was more than just a problem-solver. He was a master at focusing on solutions rather than problems. One day, news spread through the village that a grand puzzle-solving competition was to be held in Pei. Neighboring town. Puzzle enthusiasts from all around the region were expected to participate. And the winner would be awarded a chest of gold coins and the title of Puzzle Master. Amon's reputation reached the villagers' ears. And they implored him to participate. Yet, Amon was hesitant. He had always believed in solving problems that truly mattered. Those that could bring positive change to people's lives. Puzzles, while entertaining, didn't fit his philosophy. But the villagers were persistent. They believed that Amon's skills could bring them glory. And they convinced him to at least visit the competition. Reluctantly, Amon agreed. On the day of the competition, the grand hall was abuzz with excitement. Puzzle enthusiasts of all ages had gathered, each ready to prove their problem solving prowess. Amon stood amongst them, his experienced eye surveying the crowd and the curious assortment of puzzles laid out before them. As the competition commenced, Amon found himself engrossed in solving each puzzle. Not for the prize or the title, but for the sheer joy of unraveling complexity. With each challenge, he brought his unique perspective, focused not on the intricacies of the problems, but on the pathways to their solutions. Hours turned into days, and the competition grew intense. Participants fretted over puzzles, some even becoming visibly distressed when confronted with seemingly insurmountable challenges. Amen. However, remained calm and methodical. He approached each puzzle with a composed mind, letting the problems guide him towards their own resolutions. Soon, it became evident that Amon was outshining his fellow competitors. His remarkable ability to focus on solutions set him apart. The villagers who had accompanied him felt a swelling sense of pride. Not just in his talent but in the fact that he was embodying the very lesson he had taught them over the years. As the competition drew to a close, Amon found himself standing before the final puzzle, one that had stumped everyone else. It was a massive mosaic puzzle, with thousands of intricately shaped pieces. The crowd watched in anticipation as Amon began to work. Days turned into nights, and still, Amon persisted. He paid no attention to the spectators. The gasps of amazement. Or the whispers of doubt. His entire focus was on the puzzle itself. On uncovering the pattern hidden amidst the chaos. And then, on the dawn of the fifth day, a gasp swept through the crowd as Amon placed the last piece into the mosaic. The image revealed was breathtaking, a radiant sun rising over the village hills, and meadows, symbolizing the brilliance of overcoming challenges through focused determination. Amon's victory was met with resounding applause. He was crowned the puzzle master and awarded the chest of gold coins. But more importantly, he had exemplified his philosophy of focusing on solutions, not problems, and had inspired everyone present to adopt the same mindset. Returning to the village as a champion, Amon's fame spread even further. He was celebrated not just for his incredible puzzle-solving abilities, but for his unwavering dedication to the lesson he had taught. And in the years that followed, the village prospered, for its people had learned that with determination and a focus on solutions, no problem was too complex to overcome.